folks this is G wave here and we're back with another Dragon Ball Z Kakarot last time we were here we ended up fighting Gohan when he turned to a great ape and we ended up sparring against our allies like Tien, Yamcha and Krillin and it seems like after you fight Tien you can actually do a side mission for Chaozu so let's see what Chaozu wants All right. Telekinesis training. Hey. Yeah. Hmm. Why you? Yeah, Chaozu, he does fight, but he rarely wins too many battles. After Dragon Ball and after the Saiyan Saga, Chaozu never fights ever again. There we go. You put up a good fight, kid. Alright, let's explore a little bit before we get back to Gohan.
Whoa. That's a big tree. Whoa. Wow. Oh, what we got here? A long time. <gasps> King Piccolo. That's Piccolo's dad. Neat. Oh man, that brought me back so many memories of Dragon Ball. Looks like one massive tree. Now let's do this side mission that I couldn't do because of my timer. Hello down there, Yamshirobi. I guess my Yom Chirobi, sweet. <laughs> That's the thing about Yom Chirobi. He talks like he's the toughest guy ever, but he's one of the biggest sissies. Which is a shame, considering that when we first met Yom Chirobi, he was really cool. He actually killed one of Piccolo's dad's minions, who I guess you could say is Piccolo's brother, Symbol. <laughs> What? Also, Yantarobi ate Piccolo's brother symbol. <laughs> Fine. Hey. <laughs> well done. Time to waste. <laughs> Alright, let's go find Yontarobi. Says he's around here somewhere. That him? Aha! There he is! 
Yontarobi, what the hell, man? Hey! Oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> Why you? See, like I said, Yontarobi acts like he's tough, but in reality, he's not. Alright, let's go see on Gohan now. We did all the side missions. Go on, buddy. How you doing? Huh. Seems like you managed to survive after all. Yep. Meanwhile, in order to begin his training with King Kai, Goku continued his arduous journey across Snake Way. Yup, that's what Goku's been doing. After what seemed like forever, he finally reached his destination. get to King Kai's place. Wait a sec. Hey, that's the tail. He made it. Yes, I did it. I made it to the end. Uh, wait. There's, there's nothing here. Huh? Oh, what's that round thing up there? That must be where King Kai is. Hell yeah. Yep, that's where he's at. Yep, no mistake about it. There's even a house. So if this is King Kai's place, where is he? Oh, are they gonna do the thing? Are they gonna? Uh, oh no, they just made King Kai appear all radically. Who are you? Hey, know what you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Hmm. Huh? Oh, Horny jokes. Maybe you were too starstruck and didn't hear me. <laughs> Man, you're hopeless. All right, let's see if this one tickles your funny bone. Hello? I've got a joke to tell. Huh? No one's there. Yes, I better. Tell the phone. <laughs> Very corny jokes. Wait, huh? What's going on? What's wrong with you? Why are you even here? To train. I... I was hoping you could train me. Train you? Get out of here. I can't train someone who doesn't have a sense of humor. Oh, come on, King Kai. I'm begging you. Well, I guess I could. If you pass my little test. If you can make a master comedian like me laugh, then I'll train you. Wait. You want me to tell you a joke? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Goku, you sound like you're about to take a shit. Mm. I guess I'll go with this one since these two King Kai already repeated, so I guess I'll go with this middle one. Uh, have a nice trip. See you next fall. <laughs> hey, 
You left. I saw it. Uh huh. <laughs> You're pretty good. I'll give you that. All right. All right, I think I'll put Chao Tzu here. All right, next to him, I'll put... All right. Oh, whatever. I will teach you the ultimate joke. Nah, I'm done with jokes. I came here to train. Hell yeah. You came here to train? Well, why didn't you say so? I'm going to need to test you, though. I need to see what I'm dealing with here. Great, you got it. Ah! How's that? Who, who is this guy? Very well. I will train you. This guy just might actually have what it takes. He might be able to handle the Kaioken. And maybe even my greatest technique. Hmm, wonder what that will be. I know what it is. You guys are gonna see it later. Gohan's eating an apple. Me, green, teaching machine. Hell yeah, now we get to the real training. <sighs> Wonder what I'm gonna do today. Maybe I can hunt some dinosaurs in this area. They can be pretty dangerous, so I need to be careful. Yeah. We need to be more careful with Gohan because he hasn't learned how to fly yet. All right, let's go find. Oh, there's one right there. Neat. You're dead. Dino meat. Yay! Yeah, and the anime and the manga is a different dinosaur Gohan kills, and he just cuts off his tail. <laughs> Looks like the pathetic whiny kid who couldn't get his own apples is long gone. Y you're the guy that left me here! The name's Piccolo. Don't forget it. Okay. Piccolo? Uh, wait a minute. He's not the same Piccolo my dad fought a long time ago, is he? I'm gonna bet your dad told you about me. Which means you know just how terrifying I am, right? Oh! Uh... <gasps> yeah. I remember him saying something about Demon King Piccolo being a really bad guy. All right. Let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? First, you need to learn how to fly. Uh, I did it! There you go. You can finally start controlling some of your energy. <laughs> you won't be so happy for long. I'm going to teach you true combat. Now get ready to spar. All right. Come talk to me once you're ready. Don't even think about trying to run away. You got that? Oh, 
if that is a side quest here. I wish Mr. Piccolo wasn't so mean. I'm as good as dead if this keeps up. Um. Not good. Baba. <laughs> Baba's another character that doesn't appear too much anymore. Got him. Thanks. Uh, yes. My heavens. Um. Oh. Ho, ho. Hmm. Oh, ho, ho. Fortune teller Baba. What? Yes. <laughs> hmm. Indeed. Thank you so much. Interesting. Hmm. Yes. Let's see. I guess I could use some more training. Alright, let's go train with Piccolo. This time we're gonna fight Piccolo instead of playing as him. Wow. Prepare yourself. Um, okay. Don't look. Feel. Think about what you need to do. Then do it. Alright, Piccolo, you wanna go full power? Here's full power, Master. We'll call the day for now. Haha! -ha. 
No more moon. Ow, 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 ow. Huh. I guess you're no longer the little crybaby you were six months ago. <laughs> hey, I was wondering. You fought my dad a long time ago, right? I did, and I've still got a score to settle with him. Once the Saiyans are gone, your dad's next. But you know, my dad told me something. He said, you're not like the old Piccolo. He said, you don't seem like such a bad guy. <laughs> He's not. I think my dad's right. Even though my mom and grandpa are still scared of you. Just shut your mouth and try to get some sleep. I'm gonna put you through hell tomorrow. Uh, okay. <sighs> Stupid kid. And that's where Piccolo's redemption arc began. Meanwhile, with Goku, <gasps> there's the technique King Kai was talking about. See you form a spirit bomb and use it to destroy this extra fast rick. Got it. <laughs> yeah. He did it. Wow. I, I can't believe it. Well done, Goku. Thanks. It wasn't easy. It's like I keep saying. The spirit bomb is formed by gathering energy from everything around you and concentrating it into a ball. It's incredibly powerful. Screw it up and you'll blow the very planet you're trying to protect to pieces. Uh -huh. That's why you should only use it as a last resort and only once for that matter. Hmm. Just as I thought, he very well might be able to go through the entire training regiment. Yeah, but the thing about the spirit bomb is not a hundred percent effective unless you're in the Dragon Ball movies. This isn't break time. Remember this: you eat, sleep, fight. That's your life now. Don't you dare forget it. But. but... What if I just... That's enough! Unless you want to die, you have to get stronger. Stronger than me, and stronger than the Saiyans. I, I know, it's just... Less complaining, more fighting! <sighs> we'll eat for now, but then it's back to business. Yeah, when Piccolo's a trainer, he's rough. If all I do is train when I'm not eating or sleeping, I'll die before I get very strong. There's no way I'm gonna be as strong as my dad or Mr. Piccolo. It's impossible. Wait, now's my chance. I can sneak home. Uh, all right. I, I think I'll go looking for something to eat. <laughs> Go on, you really think Piccolo's that stupid? A lot of power in this. Mr. Piccolo's way stronger than me. If I keep up his training, there's not gonna be much left of me. I'm just gonna get in the way. Mom's doing. I really go for some of Mom's dumplings. I, 
I think I can handle this. Oh, hurry, Mr. Piccolo's gonna find out what I did. Oren. I know. You're Goku's kid, right? Uh, yeah. I'm Gohan. Are you a friend of my dad? You bet. We've been on all sorts of adventures together. Whoa. I'm poor. You may have heard of Goku. No, not a word. Well, that's Goku for you. But you must have heard about Yamcha, right? Nope. Nothing at... Of course you have. Wonderful. So, uh... What brings you here? Uh, that's right! I'm preparing a meal for Yamcha, and this place has the best ingredients around! So I'd better get back to work. I have a few more items to pick up. Sure. All this talk of food is making me hungry. I should get Mom to fix me something. A pork bun would sure hit the spot. Got him. I can't believe someone that bad actually exists. I might run into them again. And when I do, I'll be ready for them. Yep. You don't think so? You remind me of Goku when he won the World Tournament. I'm like, Dad? Am I really that strong? Sure you are. And brave to boot. Like father, like son. I uh -huh. can't even handle those enemies. I'm totally useless. But you didn't run away, right? Yamcha is hard at work training. The least I can do is fix him a hot meal. Plus, Yamcha is always telling me. He can give 100% because I'm around. That's why I can't give any less myself. Everyone's working so hard. Look at the time. I'd better get back and start preparing. Thanks for the help, Gohan. See you around. Yeah, I keep forgetting what Poir's gender is because of the voice of it. Of it. Like, I keep forgetting if for a dude or a girl. Piccolo's one tough teacher. But I am getting stronger. Maybe I can keep at this a little longer. I'm gonna be strong like Dad and Mr. Piccolo. So I can protect you and everyone else. <laughs> If it weren't for Mr. Piccolo, I wouldn't be as strong as I am now. If I keep up my training, maybe I'll get even stronger. 
Sorry guys, just scratching my beard. Red ribbon. guys I'm gonna end this video here so Gohan's training has already begun like yes and we see that Gohan's realizing that he's becoming stronger and now he sees why Mr. P why Piccolo is trying to push him further so yeah we see Gohan also realizes that Piccolo is not as evil as everyone makes them out to be so I'm gonna end this video here and I hope you guys enjoyed this like, subscribe to the channel, check out my TikTok and Instagram if you want to see some other content. And I'll see you guys next time when we do another Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. This is G-Wave signing out. Peace, God bless, have a good day or night depending on what time you're watching this. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, God bless. If you want to see some other content, check out my TikTok and Instagram. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!